Welcome to episode 13 of Concerts of Consoles. I wanted to preface it by saying we had some technical issues. Uh, this kind of snag, you'll, you'll see, it's kind of added a little uh, fuzziness, Transformers-like filter to the dialogue for the first like 25 minutes, and that's when we hit the snag, which you, you, you'll see, you'll know when it happens. Uh, we, I fixed the technical issues, we continue to stream for another like 40-50 minutes. I've edited this all together to be one cohesive episode, just bear with it for about 25 minutes. But yeah, it's awesome stuff, it's embarrassing. Living up to the name, there is more uh, provocative discussion, and fun discussion. You'll see. But it was fun, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the episode. Thanks. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the latest episode of Concerts of Consoles. I'm back from Punk Rock Bowling. <laughs> so now there's actually another episode. But I'm here with Allison, Kelsey, and Alexis from It's Embarrassing. Hello. Hey. <laughs> here to play some Tony Hawk. We're going to move this off the screen. Right, there we go. You can see it in the corner now. They were trying their Darth Maul and Wolverine on, see who would win in a fight or skate battle. It's Wolverine. <laughs> Housekeeping, of course. <laughs> yeah. If you want to support, be sure to head over to patreon.com forward slash every show, Joe. You can always help out that way. Even a dollar goes far enough to at least cover a little of gas or a little bit of <laughs> ticket to a show. So, but yeah, we're going to get right into it. You guys can pick where you want to start. Do you want to keep doing truck attack or do you think we should play another round of Pussy 69? <laughs> we could do Pussy 69. Yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll do another round of Pussy 69. We'll go full screen on the game. Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Unafraid to say what they want to say. <laughs> We're not going to let you censor us, Joe. We're a First Amendment band. I mean, isn't that every band? <laughs> isn't that most bands? I don't know, man. Wait, where do we want to go? Um, what's another, like... It's called the cruise oh, ship for okay. Pride. And we've activated yeah. all the... Yeah. We don't have a memory card save, but we did activate the Chiefs to unlock everyone and all the parks. Wow, so. we're the lightest up right now, Joe. You didn't have yeah, to Yeah, Joe, you know we had to do it to him. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Felt it wouldn't be as fun. Yeah, it's true. Oh, are you in charge this time? Yeah, I'm handling it. Okay, you can do the logistics and I'll handle the skating. Alright, so... Okay. I'm trying to think. First time I heard you guys about it, it's over a... Has it been over a year? Like 2017, you guys? 2018. Oh, Our first show was October of 2017. Okay. Wait. I don't it? know if you're out that way. Warriors. Warriors? With thin lips at uh, truck space. I might not have been there. It was a good time. You missed out. Yeah, it was, it was really excellent times. Black Paul played that. Thin Lips. Oh, speaking of trying to play stuff, that's where I always ran into you. That's true. I remember, <laughs> actually, I think the first time you saw us, it was like, we somehow got added to a fucking lower class rat show at the Rebel for like our second yes. show ever. Yeah. And I remember you being like, what are you doing up there? But <laughs> <laughs> like, you're in a band now. Yeah. I'm just used to you helping out around a trunk space all the time uh, and being at the shows. Oh, that's sweet that you remember me helping you around trunk space because I've done it like <laughs> twice. <laughs> yes, so you or, or hanging up, hanging around. Yes. You were always singing, like every band. I've seen you go attend. You're always singing. And now I get to do it into a <laughs> microphone and make everybody listen to my stupid bullshit. And, it's I, <laughs> and I remember actually at the the show that you didn't stick around for Frank Tony, you were there for the Menzingers. You were definitely all into singing about men, the Menzingers lyrics. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I've seen that band so many times. Did you go to their show at the Crescent last time? Yes, I do believe. Yes, yes, I did. I chose Did that you, over oh, like a couple of tough options. I think I even saw you. <laughs> yeah, that show was weird. Like, um, the chick that was standing in front of me actually took her bra off and then asked me to throw it on stage for her. And I'm like, I don't know if I could go to another Menzinger show after this. <laughs> it's just, it's just topped out. That's Literally, what she said. tops off, topped out. <laughs> Alexis, ladies' woman. She's like. <laughs> Do you haven't been paying attention? You're still a poo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the first show was at the trunk space. Oh uh, yeah. And then from there, well, how 
foggy shade and lower class brass than that. Like a month, maybe? That was, it was pretty weird. I don't know how we, we kind of like cold yeah. called <laughs> Psycho Steve and he's like, do you want to play this? And we're like, yes, that's really funny that you asked us to play this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I say, we had him, I also met you through a mutual friend who moved to Seattle there. Yeah, you referring to my baby boy Connor. Yes. Yes, that's how he got on that Trump's face show in the first place. Sweet, sweet nepotism. He's the one that really was always volunteering at the Trump's Oh, face. yeah. <laughs> He's a crazy person. He lost to our <laughs> scene. But Agreed. He looks happier, though, so I can't say anything. <laughs> I will never. Too. Yeah. Yes. Even though he's gone, he's always like. I will never criticize someone who's going for happier reasons. Yes. He's in love. That's <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so good news. Hopefully he's listening yeah. or will be listening. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, when did the idea of starting the band even birth? They were like, "Come on, guys." Grab your instruments, let's just fucking play in this garage or just wherever we were. Actually, <laughs> it started at um, a Taco Cat show at Valley Bar. And so Alexis's girlfriend, Sasha, had known her for a really long time. And um, she was like, Alexis is trying to start a punk band. And I was like, oh, really? So I told her, I was like, well, I'd like to play. And then... Um, Nothing came of it because instead Alexis chose to post on Craigslist. <laughs> I specifically asked like for women who wanted to join a riot girl band, and the only person that responded was like, "It's like I'm a 40 year old guy. I play guitar." <laughs> <laughs> I ran sound at the trunk space. Yeah, but we were um, we were all at the Taco Cat show, and I think gave Allison some. Sweet, sweet edibles, <laughs> and <laughs> we decided to start fucking. That's how you convinced her. You drugged her. Oh, that's how you um, have to convince women. Am I right, Joe? No. Not, not implying anything. Well, <laughs> and then so, so then after that, like we finally got together to play, and um, we wrote "Tough Guy Todd," I think. Uh, acid burn? Yeah, and a ski mask <laughs> on, at our first practice, and we were really excited, and I was like, well, uh, to Kelsey, Kelsey, clarify, it's just them two on it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, Kelsey wasn't a part of this. I wasn't okay. a part of this. Yeah. So, I was like, um, I was like, well, Kelsey can, can sing, and she plays guitar right now, but I'm sure she'll play bass, so Kelsey picked up the bass to play with us, and, like, that's where it all happened. Yeah, I remember it came in the mail, like, end of June, and then our show, first show was, what, like, a couple months later? Yeah, Connor asked us. It came in the mail? Yeah. yeah You're like, I, I didn't go to fine. Guitar Center or some secondhand oh, place. I ordered online. Well, Sasha, <laughs> at first, like, uh, when Allison suggested that you be in the band, Sasha's like, no, Kelsey sings, like, way too pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this Wait, band. Wait, isn't, isn't that what you want to bring people out? <laughs> uh, yeah, to balance out, um... My obnoxiousness <laughs> with somebody with actual musical talent. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it's cool. It was like, Kelsey, do you want to be in our band? It was just like, okay. It's like something I've always wanted to do. So she was like super willing to just like put down the guitar and pick up the bass, which I appreciate because I suck at the bass. <laughs> I barely play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I play regularly. She's like, I can remember. Natural stairway to heaven. She did a lot of Jenny Lewis covers that are really good. Well, how's your guitar hero skills? <laughs> That's the important question. <laughs> right. Freebird. It, it, it teaches you the real way to play guitar. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. By hitting buttons attention. and not moving your right. fingers at all across <laughs> any kind of strings. Oh, that game was a good time for a few years. I still play it. So. You've all been playing instruments before the band started then. Unfortunately. Yeah, I've, I've played guitar very little. too long to care to say because I should be much better than I am. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a drum set for Christmas when I was in fifth grade. And I've just always kind of played off and on, but never super seriously until we started this. Were you, were you ever the upstairs neighbor that was practicing? Yeah, uh, in our fucking apartment complex. 
uh, <laughs> banging on their ceiling, begging for the seventh grade skate rat to stop playing MXPX covers. <laughs> yeah, chick magnet of uh, responsibility. What's that? That was like my favorite drum cover. You got full circle now. Chick magnet throwing bras on stage. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, but not yours. No, not mine. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> Next oh, Medzinger show, you guys will know which one, who it was when you see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how else to communicate. You're the pussy 69 yeah, I know. again. I know. All right. I got this Is Kelsey going to go? Do you want to yeah. jump sure. on this? You can change the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't the foundry just a regular staple of this yeah, series? Yeah, that's the first one. That's, or the warehouse, too. Yeah. Oh, well, I just say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you guys then have been playing, too, for just childhood, or? Um, I started playing guitar in high school when I was, like, 16, and um, then... I think that's you. I'm not controlling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Lee in it, so it's already better than everything. And it has a really rad soundtrack. Like, here, which one has like a couple of thermal songs in it? But yeah, you're saying this isn't the best soundtrack? I was more into like um, Tony Hawk 4 and Underground. Underground 2. Underground 2 was a weird one <laughs> because you have to skate at all like the historical sites of America, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty like against America. <laughs> <laughs> Washington Monument's not for skateboarding. The Washington <laughs> Washington Monument Still is for penis slaves. Worship. That was back in the day. It's true. <laughs> I guess uh, you can let it slide. Oh, it's yeah. easy to Finally, six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Not oh, enough. No, it's still a pussy. Still a pussy. Dig, it's fun. I mean, you're so like steamrolling, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> you're so... I'm still figuring out controls and stuff. Ooh. So, so I'm refreshing my brain on controls. Uh, 
uh, <laughs> it was unfair that we kind of threw you into it, and we were already like had all the blood pumping in our little well, fingers. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was. Yeah. That's fine. Wait, I was like, do you get to continue now? <laughs> no, no, no. Usually when you face plant it, it's, you're done. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You think Wolverine would be stronger? <laughs> I mean, he gets right back up, so he's definitely regenerating. Yeah, the adamantium <laughs> claws don't help you kick blood. Oh, that killed it? <laughs> <laughs> if you hit the R2 button on the, like, uh, vert parts, you can revert and then, like, continue your line or add some extra points to it when you're coming down on the half pipe. More yeah. complicated than I know how to do right now. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Oh no! Not dropping down again. <laughs> Wait, you almost did it, Woody. You got me on. Woo! All right. Doubled so. your last score. Wow. <laughs> I gotta be six seventy. Wish I was recording when you guys were practicing. That's me. I'm not gonna get better. <laughs> oh yeah. Joe is officially a pussy sixty nine. <laughs> Probably. <Yeah. laughs> Good job. <laughs> So over the, what, year and a half now, you guys, no, almost two years? Oh, yeah, our anniversary is coming up. It, it already came up. Oh, oops. <laughs> you're good. Surprise. Yeah, oh, it's Kelsey's anniversary. Kelsey's in July. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that'll be two years of a whole day. Uh-huh. So, but over that time, what, you guys have been growing a crowd, I've noticed, in all the shows, you seem to bring more than at least, what? 70% of the local bands I see. <laughs> in that live show? Sure. Uh, so that's got to bring some interesting stories, I assume. Any mm. fun show stories? I'm wet! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> Who wants to tell that one? Uh, I feel like you should tell that one. Um, so we played oh. the show at Krusty Palms, uh, which that's a, that's a pretty neat spot. Um, definitely didn't feel punk enough to be there, but <laughs> after our set, um, this chick comes up to all of us and she's like, oh my god, are you guys really lesbians? <laughs> and we didn't mention being lesbians like, <laughs> during our set. We I don't know, I mean, we were just like, giving off those vibes. <laughs> we're like standing in a circle, yeah, we're like looking around, and then we're like, yeah, and then she's like, oh my god, I'm wet. <laughs> it's wow. like, I'm so wet now. There's uh, a little bit of conversation in the middle, but I can't remember what it was. It was awkward, um, like, the, I don't know. I but guess. <laughs> I'm glad she liked the music. Yeah. I think she did. <laughs> Are you sure it's the music? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you made her wet. <laughs> Another favorite was, uh, we were playing a show at Yucca Tap Room, and I was pretending to spoil the end to Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> and I I was like, it sucks that the main character got fucked to death by a horse. And then somebody yelled at me, shut up, bitch, you spoiled it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember <laughs> a fake spoiler? Yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> That apparently sounded realistic enough to him that it's feasible in a, uh, a Red Dead world. I guess in the Rockstar game. Uh, also, a recent favorite. That's more like Saints yeah. Row. That's not Grand Theft Auto. Uh, <laughs> nobody gets fucked to death in Grand Theft Auto. Isn't that how um, freaking San Andreas ends? <laughs> Spoiler warning. Yeah. And recently, um. Critical Miss got on stage with us and showed everybody her titties. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> <Poor> yeah. <laughs> we did, um, she puts on punk rock speed dating. That distracted me. Yeah, with Vic. <laughs> <laughs> it distracted me too. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. With the punk rock speed Wait, dating. Wait, was that the one you guys played? The, yeah. the one that Lauren put together? The name yes. that would eventually come up? Yes, Lauren, which by the way, Lauren, if you're watching this, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah. uh, Allison's favorite fan. Yeah, my favorite fan. <laughs> I've known Lauren forever. <laughs> She's probably our number one fan. <laughs> probably since I was like 20, so too long. Mm -hmm. Very long too time. Long. <laughs> like, she is listening now. You know, so her ears time. are burning. burning. 
<laughs> hey. well, not in a bad way. Just, I mean, it's like 13 years now, so it's like, Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> that's a lot of time. You guys should play. We're, like, doing waves. Like, I'm, like, well, keep getting we'll see. Let's just Wolverine get Pussy 69 again. And then we'll let the professionals, like, come yeah, in. Like boring white tricks. Oh, that's a little bad. Oh, you forgot. At that show, um... Vic also. Yeah, it's Vic from Birth of the Monsters also. also. He fashioned like a DIY loincloth nice and took all his clothes off. <laughs> uh, so that was that was pretty cool. That's one of the coolest things that's happened to us. I think I did see pictures from that. <laughs> it was a good night. Was a good night. <laughs> that was a, a surprisingly fun show. Finally. Yeah. Vindicated. <laughs> you landed. <laughs> and I now finally got <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, off on a guard <laughs> skating. Uh, they gave Darth Maul the pee. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give Darth Maul the pee. Can I make it? Yeah, I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> you went all that way. Yeah. Um, nice kip up at the end there. Really, really solid. Alright, let's see. Uh-oh, I landed it. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to remember all the buttons. R2 and L2 did something, right? Well, on a PS2 controller, there's a triangle, square, circle, and X. Yes. Yes, those are the buttons. <laughs> That's a grind. Uh, triangle. Oh, yeah, That's a triangle. I just did a bunker. <laughs> That's a variation of a trick called Firecracker. It's a good effort. Oh, and also we have a new EP that came out today. I want to see. Oh, by the way, <laughs> tonight's officially an album release. <laughs> yes, Ooh. we will be giving out free copies of our new EP. It's called "Makes All the Pretty Girls Puke," and uh, each label has a Jello shot recipe on it, so you can pretend to party like we do. <laughs> Wait, does it does it make fathers look? Um, Father Milk <laughs> is a little bit more of a, a complex process to extract <laughs> the father's milk. Pretty um, pretty to extract father's milk. <laughs> Not like, if you're on anti Wait, is it like the blue milk from the Star Wars <laughs> universe? Oh, yeah. What is the blue milk? Luke so milks that milk. weird giant Marvel seal thing in the last movie. And <laughs> it's blue milk. Yeah. You mean in Return of the Jedi? No. Oh, I haven't no. seen any of the new stuff. Episode 8. Great. Yeah. Spoiler alert. There's blue milk. Fuck, there's blue milk? <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me about this? <laughs> and fuck? now we're going to see flyers with it, aren't we? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I thought I saw someone posting that there's actually, like... No, that was not the right button. They have it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> But that they were drinking in blue milk at the, the galaxy's edge of Disneyland. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Just drinking blue the snow milk. butter, the snow butter beer. That always sounded so amazing in the books. It always made me think of what butterscotch beer. I mean, I guess that's the implication. Right. That's the implication. You're picking but an alcoholic. Yeah, I'm gonna pick a different skater. But they can't serve alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you better not, you fucking class traitor. <laughs> Lobster dick. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, his manual balance is pretty good. Well, <laughs> just like, uh, you know, you're better at some things when you're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. I mean, I'm kind of tempted yeah. to see how really bad he is. You should go against her. Yeah, I'm going to pick the demon. It. Okay, yeah. yeah, you pick the demon and I'll get him. So... I know Father's Milk is actually one of your like most popular, at least with the crowd. Are there fun stories behind <laughs> that, or other songs you guys have written? There's so many fun stories. That inspired the songs? <laughs> Are you the right main writer? <laughs> I guess I write most of the lyrics. Um, Father's Milk, uh, my girlfriend loves saying really heinous things. <laughs> and she works um, as a chef, so she's in a kitchen. And I think she's always so trying to make people kind of squirm. Um, and she started using the term father's milk, <laughs> just out of no particular thing, but working in a kitchen, um, she gets people all the time asking for ranch dressing and it always upsets her. Like, <laughs> who the fuck 
is asking for ranch dressing with my duck egg frittata. <laughs> um, so she inspired the song More Ranch, which is definitely our money maker. Collaborative. <laughs> yeah. Lyrics out. We all kind of work on that one. Oh, man. Now I want pizza to dip my ranch in. Oh. I can't stand it, um, which is the funny thing. Like, I can't eat ranch without gagging. Me really? Think. Really? Yeah, at least you're at an airport. Yeah, at least you're at an airport. That's Always? <laughs> ranch makes me fucking oh. gag, dude. Let's say it. I never subscribed to this, but in high school, I remember friends using it for their fries. That's the way to go, man. I, mean, I like ranch and fries. I'm like, I only knew of it as a dressing and an awesome Doritos flavor, but... Cool Ranch Doritos <laughs> yeah, are cool. pretty, pretty tight. Cool Ranch Doritos is really good with, um, Fritos, uh, spicy bean dip. It okay. tastes amazing. Yeah, it's really good. I've never tried this. Mm-hmm. I had a friend who subscribed to the theory that as long as you ate Cool Ranch Doritos, after drinking, you won't have a hangover the next day. Okay. Huh. What was the <laughs> science behind this? Yeah. That you never had a hangover. The- yeah, <laughs> sounds about right. <laughs> Maybe he's just lucky. Yeah, things are going weird. How are you balancing your manual? You go, you toggle up and down with like a mm-hmm. stick. We're gonna, I'm gonna go check something. Have we lost contact with Houston? What's up? <laughs> now it's like a repeat. It's true. Oh. All right, we're back amid weird technical issues. Had the whole thing crash on us. We're in that dust stage. Also, found out there was an audio issue, so the first half is a little. We're more like Transformers. Yeah. <laughs> but we switched modes. We're now. What is it? Just a score challenge? Get my ass Yeah, trick attack. Trick attack. Um. My name's Kelly, and that's fine. <laughs> I don't even remember uh, yeah. what we were talking about before. Oh, fun stories, and one of them did not even make it to the camera, oh, I guess. Oh, no! Which one? Yeah. Well. You know, half of our live show is me telling <laughs> really stupid stories. Kelsey, would you like to talk about your song on the new album? Oh. That works. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, I didn't have a lot of friends when I was little, and I would spend a lot of time online making websites out of HTML and cyber sexing. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'd go in those AOL or the AIM chat rooms, and I was probably like 12, but I said I was 16 or 17. Mm-hmm. And then I was probably, I don't know, it was just a song about, you know, jerking it online to other people's stuff. Wait. What was your handle in case anyone may have? Oh yeah. Oh man, Aim. Um. <laughs> I also have a follow-up. Definitely question. had a different handle whenever I. Like, you saw, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, after the, after this video, they're like, actually, they're not even done. They're just like, all right, what was it? Typing it in. <laughs> what was your aim signature, Kelsey? <laughs> Uh, probably his emo ass song lyrics. Yeah, he put some fucking bright and eyes. Super <laughs> emo away messages. Like when I went to that Taking Back Sunday tour of Tell All Your Friends, like I kept hearing lyrics. I'm like, fuck, that was an away message. That was an away message. <laughs> oh, I was mad at my friend. That was an away message. Do you have the, <laughs> I apologize for bleeding on your shirt. That's actually, <laughs> that's actually how I found that band is because my friend had that lyric in their um, profile or whatever. It's MXPS. And I was like, that's a cool lyric. Who is it? And I Googled it. One of my AIM names was an MXPX song reference. What is it? <laughs> uh, it was the Final Slow Dance, which is also kind of emo in retrospect. It's from their most emo album, Slowly Going the Way of the Buffalo. Why <laughs> did you have multiple screen names? What were oh, you doing online? I, I never got into like the cyber sexing, but I did <laughs> used to get on, um, what was the, it was like a, it was a catalog for skateboarding gear and they had like a chat going. And I would pretend to be pro skateboarder Mark Applewood. Oh, whoa. Uh, <laughs> which is really ladies? weird. This is appropriate, actually. Yeah. Did I what? Believe it or not. Talk to the ladies. I did. Like, I was like I was like 12, and I was talking to ladies pretending to be Mark Applewood. Uh, <laughs> so what game are so we So if you're one of those ladies. Yeah, please reach out. You're now actually. <laughs> you're talking to this lady. <laughs> ah. This is Mark Applewood. This is, yes, um, he was one of the all-time great skate parts in, uh, the Flip Sorry video. It's excellent. I think he skates to, like, a whole song, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. 
What about you, Allison? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear about your online activities. I mean, I wasn't, I don't know. I was a normal person, and I didn't, <laughs> like, do cyber sexing with Pretending to be people. other people. <laughs> yeah, I didn't pretend to be anybody else. Um, it was just a live video they couldn't see yeah. that it wasn't her. I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, my handle was just, like, mm, Clorox. I didn't have any weird away messages. And then my sister copied me and made hers in mm, x lax <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Brooke. Yeah. But, yeah, so, I mean, I just did normal things. IRC, hey. too old for you guys. The what? IRC chats. Yeah, I had IRC. Yeah, that sounds like a Kelsey. Um, I talked to my friend from Canada on it. He made me download it. Mm. Or I'm thinking of CQ. <laughs> Maybe it was IRC. The Canadians are the best. It was, like, three letters like the ICQ. I'm thinking of ICQ. Yes, ICQ with the 10 or 11 digit yeah. number as your identifier. Yeah, kids have it so lucky these days with porn, because like I used to have to go... <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. I used to have to go to Yahoo Image Search, or no, no, not even that. You'd have to go to Yahoo and they had things called groups, and so I'd go to all the adult groups and to the, to the pictures pages, but I couldn't like save them because you know, I shared my parents' computer, so I... I'd put my favorite images in a, a Word doc and print it on the color printer, Dude. and then take it to my room. Damn, son. <laughs> what was thing. your favorite? Um, what was your favorite search term? <laughs> oh, I, mean, I just browsed the, um, you know, the Yahoo groups back then. Like, there was no search terms. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could ask me about. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if we want to get into that. Come to our show. Remember, we'll talk again, about we're it. live. Yeah. yeah. We're playing at Yucca Top Room. We so. will tell you our favorite porn keyword searches. Yeah, I guess some of it uh, shouldn't be on the internet. For it's, yeah. it's actually contained in the liner notes of the new album. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, we're actually considering um, it. We released a music video for a song called Who Called the Cops on the Jingle Man Lounge, which has some pretty... Is that the one <laughs> that you just did recently, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. With thinking... the double dildo <laughs> drumming. Yes, yes, yes. And the, the puppets with the double dildo. We think it would be kind of appropriate to upload it to Pornhub. Yeah. It might work. Yeah, I think... Uh... We're going to do a director's cut of all the shit we didn't put in there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so that one's going to go to Pornhub. There is a lot of There I can't believe it's embarrassing as a registered username because I didn't think anyone was embarrassed on there. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should still be. <laughs> At least it's embarrassing, PHX. Or if somebody wants to impersonate us now, um, <laughs> wants to register, it's embarrassing, PHX, on Pornhub. Yeah, but it's so we don't know yeah. the password. I kept trying and yeah. it's not going to any of our emails. Uh -huh. The validation's not working. Reach out. We want to be homies. We just doing like free skate? Yeah. Oh, oh. this is the score, right? Or it no, the oh, score yeah. It is free let's, skate. let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, who picks free skate? Uh, that must have been I Kelsey. Like, what was it Kelly Slater on the skateboard? Yeah, I, I just want it to be actually competitive. <laughs> I want to. Kelsey. I didn't know there were guns in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a gun in his tight little board shorts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this is normal. I know this is normal. You've we've had conversations about <laughs> something about interesting Garfield comics that you find. Oh, yeah. Uh yeah. Dirty Garfield comics. Yeah, one of my favorite groups on Facebook is called Garfield is Hot and I Want to Drink His Cum. Yep. Um, and it's like half people laughing at what's getting posted, and like half like people who are furries that are super into it, from what I can tell. But they have the best fucking memes I've ever seen. <laughs> I really like the buff. What's their aim ones. handle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. My favorite is one where I think it's like normal is bouncing on like a really bloated Garfield and the caption is like, I'm bouncing on daddy's belly. I'm like, this is the kind of meme content that I crave. <laughs> <laughs> and speak out loud occasionally. Yes. Um, I'm like, no, but I think I recognize this from <laughs> conversations we've had. Um, I guess uh, Garfield's come is like a popular source of debate between the band like we're all intellectuals it's not good on Mondays, uh. <laughs> oh no fuck a monday 
Stay home and come on <laughs> lasagna. Boy, that yeah. just changed my perspective yeah. on my dinner today. Yeah. <laughs> you come in the lasagna, dude. That's true. It's warm and warm. anyway. It sure is. Warm. It's it's warm. Warm. <laughs> now Joe's gonna be late to all the shows. Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta find a Fazoli Zoo. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is entirely too distracting. Uh, <laughs> this went off the rails. Um, <laughs> I mean, it does show the real personality of its embarrassing. And they actually don't seem to be that embarrassed about a lot of it. <laughs> um, I guess that's the beautiful irony of our band name. Because I think a lot of our songs uh, talk about some of the things I'm most ashamed of in my life. that's very punk rock, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it's kind of like always trolling people, because you get the question like, oh, you're in a band? What's its name? And you say, it's embarrassing. And they're like, no, you can tell, you can tell me what the band name is. Yeah. Sure, it's it's okay. You can, it's not that bad. <laughs> you just say it's embarrassing. That's like a... Uh, <laughs> no, you can tell me. Yeah. <laughs> they, trust they ended, me. but they was uh, no longer together. And I'd be like, no, I watched the band no longer together. And I'm like, why aren't they together? <laughs> like, no, that's who I watched. No, but why aren't they though? There's no, a, we're not. We're going in a circle here. That's pretty. That's their name. <laughs> There's another good one like that. There's this band called Fuck You Idiot. So just imagine that conversation. Like, what's your band called? <laughs> Fuck You Idiot. It's so awesome. Is that local? I think they're from Chicago. Yeah. They have a appropriately one of my favorite songs of theirs. It's called I Suck at Life slash I Suck at Xbox. Uh, which I think it's pretty cool. It sounds like a song you listen to. Yeah. Like a dollar sign song or something. It does sound like a dollar sign song. <laughs> Speaking of music, um, what are some of your musical influences? I mean, I've seen specifically you singing along to a lot of bands. I don't know which um, one is specifically higher up on the rankings. Oh, are you talking like favorites ever? Or yes. Do I... And influenced what you sing. And, Fuck. Right. So... Um, lyrically, I, um, try to rip off, uh, Brendan Kelly from the Lawrence Arms <laughs> writing style, especially, like, on our new EP, but yeah. I do it, um, he sounds really smart, and his lyrics are fucking amazing, um, and I just and trolls, aimed it. trolls yeah. Arby's. Yes, Nihilus Arby's is amazing, so <laughs> I try to sound like, um, a dumb version of him, I also, um, with my vocals, I try to emulate his singing, actually, and mix in a little bit of Kathleen Hanna from Bikini Kill. Mm. So I'm either doing a Brendan Kelly or Kathleen Hanna impression. <laughs> and you see they're yeah. playing Riot Fest, Bikini Kill. I really want to go to Riot Fest. <sighs> I saw them in L.A., and um, I got my lip busted open in the pit, and I lost my shoes. <laughs> did you find them after? I did, Was there did. someone doing this, pulling it up? I, I like, found them with shoot. the help of um, all the ladies in the pit who had just beat the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> my best, I've lost a shoe. My, my oh, story yeah. is that uh, Punk Rock Bowling, what poster is it? <laughs> that one, the 2015. Went into the pit for Dropkick Murphys. About two songs in, I fell out of my shoe because I fell forward and it wasn't tied strongly enough on. And people, as they should, picked me up. Yes. Yeah. But they pulled me out of my shoe and they didn't even have time to turn around. It was already gone. Aww. Oh. Did a lap of like, I don't see it. I don't see anyone holding it. I have no fucking clue where it went. End up just staying in the pit with one sock and one shoe. <laughs> like, fuck it. I'm still having fun. One of my favorite shoe losses was uh, Joyce Manor played at the Yuck Attack Room, and I lost my right shoe almost immediately. But it seemed like <laughs> multiple people in the crowd like lost shoes at the same time, so they were getting stacked on the front of the stage. Oh, wow. So I just grabbed somebody else's shoe <laughs> and wore it for the whole set. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but uh, I'm sure that person got their shoe back. I got my shoe back, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Mine. Actually, I, so I came flying back during the encore. Ooh. Like, I was still in the pit, so I'm like, wait, kind of that looked like a shoe. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone actually picked it up, I'm like, that's my shoe. So I had it for the encore. It, someone threw it back. Oh. Also, it made it out somewhere into the crowd. Someone tossed it out of the pit. Oh my god. Because <laughs> I'm like, alright, what do I got? It's Vegas, what's on Fremont, 11 o'clock that I might be able to find for a shoe. 
if we're I can't like, find it in the parking that. lot. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't find it in the parking lot, as people clear out. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool that your, your shoe like opened up the pit. It like yeah. it was trans- <laughs> It flew out of the pit and back. <laughs> I gotta fucking focus. I can't have Kelsey beat me at this. <laughs> no, I'm not me like, now. Oh, like, I thought it was Kelsey, no, so that's why I was I was upset. It's, okay, it's now me I me okay. Are you gonna this take that? This level. Kelsey, you're gonna take that from where you can't. I'm used to it. Kelsey. Aww. We love Kelsey. Be like a Simpsons reference here, where they're playing the uh, was it the Poindexter game. And it ends up looking just like Millhouse. <laughs> and Homer's like, stand up for yourself, Poindexter. <laughs> for Simpsons video games, there's no like, buy me Bone Storm or go to hell. Bone Storm. Yeah. <laughs> In game video games. So the Simpsons oh, had a yeah. good run of decent games in the PS2, Xbox era. And the little the Simpsons game on 360 was the best. I vaguely remember playing those. So they actually animated original scenes, 2D scenes for the 360 PS3 game. Wow. That's pretty fucking tight. You need to pick that. That had, that had Grand Theft Itchy in it too, I think. Grand Theft Itchy? <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A parody of them. With them. <laughs> That's pretty fucking great. Oh, okay. Cool guy. Matt Groening coast. I'm like spoiling things that are awesome about that game. <laughs> you end up realizing you're in a video game and jumping between different games, and you meet Matt Groening. Really? But he's kind of pretentious. That makes sense. And then like, when he's like, I'm gonna, all right, I'll help you guys. And then it's like zoink, and he leaves. And then he flies back and signs your screen, and then leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Matt. <laughs> Big Simpsons fan, as you guys may notice. Oh yeah. Off screen. So plays well on video. Thing? Plays well on everything. Yeah, <laughs> you saw have, like on a VHS tape was a recorded episode of uh, Who Shot Mr. Burns. So you said just watch that over and over again. <laughs> Did you <laughs> have to call? Angry. Was it MCI? What was the phone company you had to call for over the summer to vote to see who killed Mr. Burns? I know. Oh, I can't remember. I can't fucking remember. What are you going to collect? One eight hundred collect. Ugh, amazing. All right, so other musical influences. Yeah, sounds like oh. Rena Kelly. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we distract her. Damn it. <laughs> um, so well, for me, like I like a lot of older stuff. Like, I mean, I you saw me at the Dead Milkman. I love that yes. stuff. Like so, Dead Milkman, Dag Nasty. Um, that means you also take it in good humor, some of their lyrics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you have to. The, yeah. the, the queers making the soil. <laughs> what are they doing in the soil? Or, uh, like, Daniel Johnston. Like, I just really like weird things. Um, or coat well, hangers, they're amazing. Um, I don't know how much my musical taste them. goes into um, my playing, but I, you know, I just like fun, random stuff. It's a good time. Weird stuff. Yeah. I did miss the coat hangers. I think it was eating. Oh, I you gotta see that. have to They're see that really fucking good. band. And it's like, I don't know, it's just when they play stuff, I'm like, it's so cool. Like, I don't know, like, why I can't write like that. Like, I'm just super into it. But, I mean, I guess Blessed is kind of like that. But. Even Jingle Man Lounge kind of reminds me of a Springfield Cannonball, Springfield oh, yeah. Cannonball. And wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah. Them live, they're, like, their songs standalone awesome already but live they're just even better like they're really cool to see yeah last time they played in phoenix i remember their drummer just came out on stage with a fucking bottle of tito's vodka <laughs> it was like oh, this is my favorite band now <laughs> well the, the last show we saw them at um this ceiling was like dropped above the stage oh yeah and the drummer she was like doing so they all switch off and we'll sing on their own or switch instruments and so she's singing and she just like spits into the air and it sticks to this drop <laughs> ceiling and just starts slowly dripping down like oh, the yeah. rest of their set and like her and the bassist they're all laughing about it but it was like <laughs> the funniest thing that's I don't know. so foul it was, yeah foul. it was a big stringer. Like it oh, was pretty Oh man. Good. Yeah. 
What yeah. luck to have it stick there the whole time. I know, it's crazy, <laughs> just slowly dropping the whole time. Oh. But yeah, yeah, they're awesome. So yeah, I don't know. I like a lot of different music and I just I I don't know if I could specifically say Duh. what I'm getting better. Anything. I just have to land in there. <laughs> <laughs> But what do you got, Kelsey? Yeah, what do you, you got, Kelsey? I mean, you know, like, I don't know. People that I listen to don't influence anything I do. <laughs> <laughs> I barely do what I do. Who <laughs> do you like, though? Dr. Demento, Weird <laughs> Al. I'm super into Sincere Engineer right now. Yes, at my absolute favorite. She's coming back soon. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So stark. And she's going to be at Riot Fest, too. That right? Yeah. That's like, but for her, that's like a short drive. Yeah. She's from there. Yeah. <laughs> I think we weirded her out at Fest. <laughs> we yeah, because we're all like huge fucking fanboys for her Sincere Engineer. Yeah. And, um, I started yeah. talking about rats because she's selling a rat. This tour is with a full band, not just yes, her solo. Yes, Yes. So awesome. Did you see her when she opened for Lauren's Arms? Yep. Yeah. And, and one of them jumped up there and played with her for the last mm-hmm. two that songs. That would be Dr. Chris McCoggin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's fucking amazing. I listen to that record every couple of days. So, like, Corn Dog is one of the best songs I've ever fucking heard. Yeah, like, when we go to Sonic. It's like yeah, obviously that's the song I think that is. Of. I saw someone comment on her post recently that was like, you know, you're just gonna be associated with Corn Dogs forever now. <laughs> well, it's kind of like us with Ranch. That's true. That's why she should totally be best friends with us. Oh, <laughs> we belong together. <laughs> <laughs> Musically, you know. Yes, totally. Yeah, it's like it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> his knee. After all that, just his knee. <laughs> If you fell off a building, would you be holding your knee after that? <laughs> People do weird things when they're in shock. It's like the yeah. Guy, like. Oh god. And if our one viewer, if there is audio issues, please let me know. Yes, I viewer. think I squashed it, but we will find out, or I'll find out at the end, at the very least. <laughs> All right, I landed something. <laughs> Yay! All my cool looking stuff I never land so far. I still remember the Game Boy Advance ones were isometric but really good at it. I didn't play any of the Tony Hawk games on Game Boy. I played one of the Matt Hoffman games on Game Boy. Which are just uh, rip-offs of Tony Hawk with douchier characters, I think. Yay! (laughs) (laughs) Douchier Yeah. (laughs) I mean, half of them were... uh, Activision was just like, you know what's good? Skateboarding? So let's try and do everything else now. BMX. Uh, we got surfboarding. <laughs> As Kelly Slater shows here, that that was a goal of theirs. Where's the rollerblading game? <laughs> that was not cool with skaters. <laughs> was it not? I don't remember them calling it anything homophobic or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember ever using a term like that when I was skateboarding. Uh, <laughs> Joe, you're getting good. Yeah, Shit. jam, dude. <laughs> I told you, it just takes me 30 minutes and a technical issue. because <laughs> Kelly does welly. It's the surfboard. Yeah, it is the the surfboard. Is because like... he's wet, it makes it. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's, it, he glides he's easier. He's wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like a fucking seal. <laughs> <laughs> he's technically he wasn't flat on the ground there. I think that was at an angle. I don't think you get a mulligan for being at an angle though. Favorite songs though does not does not be tied to your favorite artist. Or, or actually, let's go further. Guilty pleasure. Or uh, a song. Guilty pleasure. Uh, or album. I absolutely love Kesha. Yes. And my favorite song by her is the one where she talks about fucking her English teacher. <laughs> and it kind of sounds like it could be like a later career Aquabat song musically. <laughs> it's really interesting. No, this is more for yeah. por- this is more for Pornhub. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Watson, I want to get with you. 
It's, it's like, like you can't be Aquabats. <laughs> they have opening artists sign agreements not to swear. They they need to stay wholesome for sure. Even though I mean their first album has songs about scratching their balls, um, <laughs> pinch and roll. But yeah, Kesha is definitely a, a favorite of mine. They need to bring back Sand Fleas. Like, <laughs> have they not done that yet? The the characters are back. That's it. Not There's that no thing. recorded music, including their old stuff that you can find. Ooh. Are you a cadet, Joe? Mm, I'm a, a Kickstarter backer at least. Oh. <laughs> Wondering if you had I'm a card a carrying card? cadet. Wait, did you submit your old card to get a new card? No, I haven't done that yet. Um, my name on that card is Tits McGee. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard you say that name before too. <laughs> Which is um cringely that's an Anchorman reference. <laughs> what about you? No, man, that was horrible. Guilty uh, pleasures. Well, I don't know. I don't have any, like, active guilty pleasures right now, but, uh, like, I guess my guilty pleasure right now is that I'm following a Pride edition of, um, electronic music on my, <laughs> on my Spotify, oh, yeah, the drag and I, I bump it all the time. It's Wait, is it Lena Del Rabies? Because they were being, she was being pimped oh, by no, Dead Milkman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was. Oh, yeah. That, they were being <laughs> But, uh, no, like, um. Like, it has, like, Alaska Thunderfuck on it. <laughs> That's a great like, name. Um, right. Like, RuPaul, obviously. So, it's just, like, I don't know. It's always a game party in the truck right now. Getting that fruity fresh cream. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> I guess that's my guilty pleasure right now, is I can't turn that shit off. Ow, ow. Ooh. What about you, Kelsey? Eh. What would you say? I mean, right? Henry Rollins is all about RuPaul, too, so. I feel like Kel- all of Kelsey's musical taste is a guilty pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> all of your emo stuff. Uh-huh. I mean, I don't listen to that anymore. Dashboard though. Confessional. No. What was that shit you were playing in the car on the that was the cracking? Cupcake. Oh, the no, no, cupcake, cupcake rocks. That's, that's not a guilty really pleasure. Funny. Cupcake's fucking oh, amazing. Oh, are you talking about Turn Around? That song. What was the you were doing? Like, it was um like these really silly remixes. Uh, <laughs> so, I was just yeah. YouTubing like uh, Lion King electronic <laughs> remix. <laughs> I was trying to get us pumped for a show. I know. I assumed you had like a playlist. <laughs> no, it was YouTube. Yes. <laughs> I feel like you have something. Yeah. I can't think of what it is. Um, I don't currently have any that I listen to, but I know I really liked just Justin Bieber back in the day when he was doing music. What did you like about him? Oh, crap. He adored that. His asshole personality. Yeah. You know, like, he gives away monkeys like candy. You know? <laughs> like candy? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, he just left his monkey. This. He didn't care. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I don't follow him. That Where much. have we not played? Russell? Not did Bernie you guys we, play in Rio? Yeah, me and Kelsey. Oh. Um, we took a little trip. Suburbia. Back okay. to suburbia. That's an iconic Tony Hawk stage, right? Scott? It's been brought up multiple times in things I've read about Tony Hawk suburbia? video games. Of like me. levels people want to come back until they realize how bad Tony Hawk Five was. <laughs> yeah, I was super tempted to like download it, Tony Hawk Five, to prepare for this, but I just no, um, it's really bad. But... Yeah, that's what I read. Ramones. Do you have a guilty pleasure, Joe? Oh, yeah. funny. For some reason, my brain just keeps saying Blink One Eighty Two. Oh uh, well, <laughs> I wouldn't consider that. I like them. New Blink One Eighty Two is a guilty pleasure, right? California is good. <laughs> that new single's weird. With Lil Wayne. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's not even the new single. Oh. That's, like, that's the song that Mark sounds like he just phoned it in, like, fuck it. Uh, we're doing this. They both sound like bad karaoke in that music. Yeah. The, the single that came out after that, I was like, you guys didn't. It doesn't sound like you learned from California. Like, it was good. <laughs> and this is not. Is that actually worth listening to? That yes. album with Matt Skiba? Yes. <laughs> the only thing is that Mark and Skiba have like the same tonal sound. Mm, so you're yeah. like, I don't know who's actually doing lead vocals on this song, but it's good. <laughs> cool. I dropped off um, when they did the, I guess it's the Nightmare Before Christmas song. <laughs> the tree pushed me off. <laughs> I, I got too punk for Blink-182. Like when I discovered the Ramones is when I stopped Guilty. listening to them. <laughs> I used to only listen to the Ramones and MXPX for so like... Guilty pleasures have to be <laughs> embarrassing to me though, right? 
Or, like one that you maybe yeah. wouldn't want to say out loud, but you're going to bump it. You know what I mean? There's nothing that I feel that you know, embarrassed about. One, maybe <laughs> like you'd be a little weary to tell some people. Like, What would you say setting? on like a first date with somebody? <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed of it. I mean, of the majority of people that know me, they're more punks, so it's just like, the weird stuff is like, I listen to MC Lars and and yeah. MC Chris and Megaran because it hip hop can still be a bad word for certain people. MC Chris is at cool. least I like punk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even Lars, he's had punk people. He's had Stizz on a song. Best. He's had yeah. He also had Backamander on it. Really? Yeah. This gigantic robot kill is all about a kid in a third wave ska. It's a great concept for a song. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> like in well, self self referential. I don't know if that's right. That's not the right phrase. But he's got a song called Sublime or Rome is not Sublime. And it's all about all the different artists like <laughs> Dead Kennedys are not dead Kennedys without Jello. They're not. That's true. And that one has Suburban Legends on it. And uh, oh my god, I forgot about that fucking band. <laughs> oh, I feel like every Aquabat show they were on it doing their their Disney songs and their their choreography. <laughs> oh my goodness. So then beat your score, but I made points that are four digits. Oh, we're playing again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Bourbon Legends were on three of his songs. If I remember right. Roger Lima did on, on one of them. Actually, I'm like proving the point that MC Lars actually isn't that horribly off for, for a funk fan. <laughs> no, he has like fucking great energy. I saw him on a really cool lineup at Fest with like Clown Vis Presley. <laughs> and, um,. <laughs> There's like I can't fucking what remember does that what they're called. Sound like Cla- he's is that a, like Goth he's, Brooks. He's an <laughs> he's an Elvis impersonating clown that does a parody of that song Jack and Diane, but makes about sucking on a chili dog. It's fucking incredible. My God. And then there's this band called Tartar Control. They're amazing. You've seen them? Yes. Yes, they are. That's ah, uh, they're so fucking amazing. The the robot is <laughs> so sick. Robot? How could you say that to her? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that was a good save. Yeah. I need to get off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was like a lucky catch. That's awesome. Yeah, I was like, get her out here. <laughs> I don't want to move anymore. Yeah, I thought it was going to totally Is that the shit. shoulder buttons the grab? Um, Grab is circle. Yeah. Oh. It's all face buttons. Okay. This game is nuts just to see young Steve Cavalera. And it's pretty wild. With his bleached hair. Who didn't have bleached hair in 2001? Yeah. Mark from Blink-182. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> One of them had purple hair. Because of that... That was Mark, wasn't Dan- it? That was the Damn It music video, wasn't it? Yeah. And then it was Tom with the bleach blonde. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The <laughs> aliens I'm here, notice my hair. Is that what it was for? He no. was sending that, He was signaling uh, for the UFO to come and take a look. How long has he been a conspiracist? Has it been since he was a teenager? It just happened to come out more than when he had money? Yeah. With, <laughs> there was always, like, Aliens Exist. Was, yeah. It was probably my favorite Blink-182 song. Featured in American Pie? Aliens was Exist wasn't in. Or no, it was Mutt. Yeah, I think so. I don't. It wasn't Aliens Exist. The American Pie Two soundtrack was really big for me though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's the one that gave me the reference for it's warm. It's warm. <laughs> the warm apple pie. That's why he fucks it. Warm lasagna. Yeah. I love that we can have these. It's warm deep and moist. Academic conversations <laughs> with you. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that coming in here oh, no, today. No. That's what she said. 
<laughs> and now we're off back to Michael Scott. <laughs> the office that might get rebooted. What? Really? Yeah, there's talk of it being rebooted. They need to leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, it's like... What? The, like a they, network or a movie studio that wants to make money is trying to mine nostalgia? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I couldn't even <laughs> get through this last season of Arrested Development. I used to be it's obsessed not, with it. It's not bad. It's yeah. Not, it kind of... I don't know what it became. Did it become? Like, just doesn't have the same... Like, I... It is... God, the end of that sh- season. It ends on a... Dark note. <laughs> How so? You didn't spoil it for me and everybody Spoiler else. Spoiler for yeah. the next 10 <laughs> seconds for the last season of Arrested Development. But Buster killed someone and put him in the cement wall. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it was discovered in the last episode oh, of that was... last season. I'm like, really? You guys went there? <laughs> Buster? Buster was bound to kill somebody eventually. Well, that was the cliffhanger of the last season, the prior season. Yeah, like, where um, she who was. killed Lucille. Lucille, too. Uh, that disappeared. Where is she? Yep. Yeah, it, that, you just made me think about that. I did block that out. Like, I didn't care enough to be like, that was amazing. I'm like, that was weird, even for this show. <laughs> <laughs> and this show goes weird. Ooh. Yeah, I think that show is done. Even tight casted Michael Sarah. What has he even been in lately? That Ooh. movie with everyone with Hollywood going to hell. What was the name? Uh, I did oh, not I see that. They that. Or they all played that. themselves. Like years technically. ago? Technically. Yeah, like two or three years ago. Was it when they were having like a party? Yeah, and then yeah. hell is actually, the apocalypse is happening. Yeah. yeah. And then the Backstreet Boys are in it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, Ooh, spoiler that. also. Uh. <laughs> it's okay. I don't. I but don't consider it. there, media. so everyone, all of them are playing themselves. Seth Rogen, they're all playing their, their themselves. So meta. But then they still had Michael Sarah be a pop as asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, that's not Michael Sarah. I know that, but that's funny. Yeah, I, I like that. That's <laughs> like clever. a male show, chauvinist. I like that. <laughs> His best role was Scott Pilgrim. I that think. is a fantastic movie. I, I love that movie so Scott much. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is one of the best uh, comic book adaptations. Yeah, I'm trying to think. There's another good. There aren't many of those. The Vegan Police. Yes, absolutely. High five <laughs> in the background after they just made him dissolve. <laughs> so good. Where you Superman play him? Superman. Yeah. Goldfinger. No, I'm trying to think about oh. it. The, like, <laughs> oh, we talking Austin Powers now? There's three <laughs> superheroes. Green Day actually was on Austin Powers 2 soundtrack. Oh. There was an instrumental song. I don't remember a lot about Austin Powers 2. I remember the first one, and I remember... <laughs> oh, he said gold finger, not gold member. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes. Fuck. A Bond movie slash Oops, ska punk yeah. band. <laughs> where John Feldman, amazing music producer, and way up his ass. Oh, yeah? Given what happened with the band Goldfinger, yes. I don't know much about <laughs> Goldfinger. He would have spilled the dirt. Should we have beef with Goldfinger? <laughs> no, he, he's, he's actually vegetarian. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's video on the YouTubes. Of him making a big deal out of... They played the Barbecue Fest, the infamous one, in 2012. And they claim they didn't know it was a Barbecue Fest. And there's a video of him puking behind stage because of the smell of barbecue in the air. That's so Morrissey. <laughs> <laughs> no! And then, and then they just gave no shits about it being a family event. And that's how Punk no longer plays the Barbecue Fest. Um... <laughs> Like, uh, Darren, their drummer, instead of having his traditional Twinkie out of his ass, he... <laughs> That's a tradition? Yeah, they... Damn, every... I need to listen to more ska. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, when he was drumming in Goldfinger, that was the thing they did pretty much every show. Wow. Was, they put a Twinkie between his ass. 
after he's been playing a few songs, yeah. it's sweaty. Yeah. And then I get a fan out of the crowd to eat mm -hmm. the Twinkie. Ew. Interesting. But for this show... <laughs> Have you ever had the Twinkie? No. Yeah. <laughs> but for this show, he changed it up because it was a family event. And he drank beer out of the smelliest shoe he could find. Mm. Oh, so he did a shoe. Yeah, that's, uh, that's rookie shit. That is they also did shit. a wall of death at this family event. What? <laughs> <laughs> that is now will go on record. That video surfaces. I'm in that video. You're in the wall of death taking <laughs> yes. out a bunch of children? No, other funks. Well. Yeah. <laughs> taking out children. You heard it here. Video yeah. proof. Screenshot. Yeah. I'm but no, that video, someone filmed it, and I'm like yeah, near whoever was filming it. <laughs> the video seems to emerge every couple of years since then. Fuck yeah. Joe, I just found you. You were in this, and I was there too. We didn't even know each other. I'm like, makes sense. <laughs> I mean, into each other. it's best not to like make eye contact or do any handshakes when you're in the motherfucking pit. But a wall of <laughs> death. Wall of death at a family friendly barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scott sounds pretty cool now. But no, what happened was John Feldman. A lot of stuff, so a lot of drama happened. Darren was the last one to leave, but basically, Goldfinger now is like an all-star supergroup. It is Mike Carrero from MXPX. It's uh, he's in Goldfinger. Really? Yes. Tra Are you fucking Travis Barker? <laughs> what? No. Travis Barker drumming. The dude from Story of the Year that I never remember his name because I don't yes. listen to Story of the Year. <laughs> he's in it, so he made like everyone end up oh. getting kicked out or leaving of their own accord because they were just done with. Feldman's stuff and like the one thing I saw was Darren's post on Facebook just saying I'm not going into detail of it I wish him the best and I'm going to move on and do other things <laughs> I had not heard of the super group and it became a super group that's the last album is all those guys huh. who knew Goldfinger was still making albums well it was seven years until this new one <laughs> And Feldman is a good music producer. It's just, apparently, his personal stuff can cause friction with people. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, we've got beef with all kinds of bands. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> the Venomous Pinks, uh, <laughs> Critical Miss, Calling You Out, uh, Acme Superstar. Acme Superstar, fuck those guys. <laughs> Their EP is too good, I hate it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was Black Paw, but we won that one. Yeah, we we got Black Paw to break up. <laughs> Wait, I thought they just played like two weeks ago. Mm, nah, they're they're done so unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, uh, that's unfortunate. It, it is very unfortunate uh, because we won't get to make oh. fun of them anymore <laughs> from the stage. Uh, no one to stop us now. Nope. I guess we could still shit on Black Paw. Chris is just standing there. Yeah. He's, just <laughs> he's now tuned in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just subscribed with the belief that everyone just, the moment you mention their name, they're like, wait, I should click on that link now. Yeah. Barack Obama. <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah. Gay Barack Obama. Gay Yeah. All right. Let's tie this into video games a little. So favorite video games. I'm assuming it's one of them is Tony Hawk for at least 20 of guys. Oh, that I was Tony Hawk. Yeah, definitely yeah. a favorite growing up. Um, Tony Hawk is always awesome. Uh, Pokemon on Game Boy Yellow was big for me. Oh, I was a blue fan. <laughs> Taking down Team Rocket, Jesse and James. Yeah. In um, Meow. Grand Theft Auto game. Yes, Grand yes, Theft yes. Grand Theft Auto starting with three. Yes. I didn't like the Which is a lot of people's yeah. beginning. That was my beginning. Uh, Billboard is three. I love to play a lot. <laughs> I fucking love that game. Tekken. So Ooh, Tekken, yes. Love Tekken. Mortal Kombat. All the odd number Tekkens are the best. One, three, <laughs> five. Uh -huh. Street Fighter. I always love playing that too. Uh, one of my recent favorites is uh, Night in the Woods. I love that year. I played it while I was unemployed, and I was just like, this relates That's to me so much. That's a perfect time to play it. <laughs> yes. It related, I could relate to it so much. I'm like, this is awesome, and the conversations are normal. Yes, I. it's um, <laughs> one of the most well-written video games that I've ever played. I love it. Your friends it. would say stuff like that. Absolutely. <laughs> it, like, the characters in that game could be anybody's friends, like, from growing up. Um, 
then I, of course, I got super obsessed with the last Red Dead Redemption game where the guy gets fucked to death by a horse. <laughs> 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 but, uh, spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. We got <laughs> you didn't mind the pace of that game? Because, my God. I game. love slow-paced games where I can just fuck around. I found it really relaxing to just ride the horse across the map. I've, um, I've never fallen asleep playing a video game, and that game I did. <laughs> Fair enough. I went from... Uh, Oh god, now I forgot the name of the town. The New Orleans like town. Uh Saint Denis. Yeah. <laughs> my my set a marker to go to a mission all the way across and then finally just passed out. Did you like put in the cinematic mode and just like yeah. so conk out? Yep. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I woke up, resumed my PlayStation. I made it. I didn't get killed by any random gang. I was like, well that's cool. That is interesting <laughs> that you didn't get like jumped or like bombed. Because usually they right popped up. Uh, I even beat that game, both of its endings. You did a good and a bad playthrough? Well, no, they have two uh, after stories that lead into Red Dead 1. Yeah, I, I beat... And they're really long. I'm like, wait, I'm still in... Wait, okay. okay. I've been playing this for like 30 minutes. But the house building mission in the epilogue... <laughs> Is such, one. Yes, a joyous, two. a joyous occasion. That song fucking slaps. Like <laughs> <laughs> that was. That's the, I, best. the story yeah. was good enough that I wanted to keep playing through it. But oh yeah. my god, I was like, I don't want to just sit here and watch a horse yeah, that's <laughs> go across the map it. again oh, to I get love to this it. one mission. Oh no. And there's cool stuff in there, like the mad scientists. And the, I loved those missions. It was like fun. And the, um, I liked. Uh, tracking down like the circus animals you do that one. it was really fun and the the dwarf <laughs> there was also the um oh what's that movie the chain gang the escape prisoners oh it's like a love story yeah i remember that that one i had my control issue happen where it was just like i free i shot off his chains and I'm like, all right. Oh, I need to reload. Oh, apparently because I was in enough proximity, you I fired at him. <laughs> and now he's gone. Cool. Yeah, the controls of that game could be a little frustrating. I have, Many times I have punched my horse. <laughs> <laughs> horse abuse. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess I'm going to wrap it up because I think it's been... Even with technical <laughs> issues, it's been over an hour. So, Having too much fun. Where can yeah. they find you on the internet? We are on Facebook. It's embarrassing. We are on Instagram. It's uh, it's embarrassing. PHX. Uh, our Bandcamp is it's embarrassing. PHX. Bandcamp. Com. We just released a new EP today that you can find. It's on uh, Spotify. We're really fucking proud of it. And I think everybody should listen. And um, to whoever's watching this, we're on at the Yucca Tap Room in a couple hours. Um, so if you're watching it live yeah. or you're watching it on Saturday, the June 1st. Uh huh. <laughs> we're listening. Playing with uh, Year of the Fist, The Venomous Pinks, and Reason Unknown, and possibly Red Bush from Wyoming. Yeah, so. notice they yeah. are missing from the Facebook event. Sure. I don't know if yeah. someone dropped off. <laughs> I was just asking them about that when I got here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As for me, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? I'm on like everything as every show, Joe. Twitter, Tumblr. That's not updated as much as it should. Facebook, Instagram, uh, Patreon.com forward slash every show, Joe. Again, if you want to support, you can go over there. And other thing is subscribe wherever you're watching this. Subscribe, get notifications. Um, I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting. But... You really, and you can find them at every show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Try to be every show. Every show. Not ours tonight, though. <laughs> I'm working on multiple tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on multiple tonight. We're yeah. figuring that uh, out. Next week, we got Sala from uh, Audrey Harper. Tight, Brother tight. Teresa and Harper and the Moths. He's in three bands now. That's ridiculous, <laughs> but awesome. But all awesome bands. Go check those out. But yeah, that should be next Sunday, the 8th. And until then, until I get to the mouse and figure out how to stop this thing, <laughs> Oop, I hope I lost it. There it is. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks right. for having us. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs>